So thinking that this world came about by chance is the same as thinking that when you put money in a slot machine that the numbers come up by chance. They don't. Everybody knows that the casinos are rigged and only the house wins all the time. But to think that this world came about in the same way that people gamble, random choice, well, let's put that to a test. This is an example that you can do in your home with your children. Take 10 marbles, number them one to 10, and put them inside of a bag and shake the bag. And then close your eyes without looking inside that bag, pull out number one, pull out marble number two, pull out marble number three, in that order. Just ten marbles, that's all. Five, ten. What do you think the chances are pulling out those ten marbles in that order without looking at them? Does anybody here that's a mathematic genius, knows about calculus, knows the random chance? Does anybody know the chance? Twenty-six million to one. That's only 10 marbles. That's called a micro example. Now let's go a little bit further out to a mic macro example. The Earth that we are on is one planet among nine, or some people say 11, in our solar system, isn't it? And our sun that gives energy and light and gravity is the center of our solar system. And our sun is only one star, and it happens to be one of the smaller stars in our galaxy called the Milky Way. And the Milky Way is only one of the smaller galaxies in the nebula called the Andromeda. And the Andromeda has itself millions of galaxies like the one that our sun is a part of. And there are millions or literally countless galaxies, clusters of galaxies like the Andromeda that have been predicted by sending out sound and light. And they have sent out sound and light that has never returned. Now, all of this diverse order that we see in the heavens that we are able to somewhat calculate and predict that we call night and day, time, all of this is in order that allows us to calculate. Tell me, if you can't pull out 10 marbles in order, how did all of this come in order? Evidently, man didn't do it because man is only a drop of water on the earth, significantly nothing. You can't even see him if you get a certain distance. He's forgotten about. So I say to you, certainly, this whole great world with all of its great orchestration could not have just come together. And even if we accept the Big Bang Theory, Someone had to create that combustion because after the bang came about, everything came in order. So order does not come from disorder. You can't get out of your bed in the morning and don't make your bed and come back and your bed is made unless you got a maid. You can't demolish a house and come back, and the house came back together unless you got a reconstruction crew. Order doesn't come from disorder. Order comes from an order. An order means a legislation. It means a science. It means a fact. It means a determination. And if man wasn't around, when that Big Bang took place, he had nothing to do with that determination or anything after it. 
Here I would like to mention a few verses of the Quran that address this subject because the Quran was revealed more than 1400 years ago, a book of 6,626 verses that has been retained and memorized, preserved since the time that it was revealed more than 1,424 years ago. Memorized in the time of the prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, who received it in his own life, memorized by his companions. And the same Quran is with us today. And among the people sitting here, I'm sure there are five or 10 people who have memorized the entire Quran. This is the phenomena. If Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, never left anything else as a proof of his miracle and his prophethood to the world, it would be the Quran.